I want you to imagine that you're a customer service agent and a premium customer also can't check out, but this time Mary and John and the other engineering teams, they don't know about the problem. There's no problem going on with fulfillment. If I click here on PagerDuty status dashboard, I can see that fulfillment is all green. Inventory is green. The e-commerce marketplace is all green, but yet a customer is complaining that they can't check out. As a customer service agent, I determined that I need to escalate this to engineering and dev and IT. With the power of PagerDuty for customer service operations and our new incident command console, I can immediately escalate and create an incident for the right development team. So here I can select escalating this ticket and creating an incident on the checkout service. And select the priority to be P1 and give a little bit more context to engineering. I think this is impacting multiple premium customers need help ASAP and immediately create that incident. Now what that's gonna do, it's gonna break down the wall between me, development and IT and escalate and page the right engineer on the checkout service. As we can see here, John Warfin was notified that there was a problem on checkout and immediately get the right engineering team on it. Now, because this is a premium customer and I've escalated to engineering, I may want to make sure I keep key stakeholders inside the company up to date. With the power of our new incident command console, I can run a response play. what we call a major incident retail stakeholders response play. And what this response play is gonna do is it's going to help automate the mundane workflows of having to keep all the right stakeholders up to date on what's going on with this escalated incident with the click of a button. As I run that response play, immediately stakeholders are, are getting status updates based on their preferences, notification preferences that this incident has been escalated and that John and I are already on it. Now, I want you to transition from customer service to engineering. So as I mentioned with full case ownership, I broke down the wall between customer service and engineering and John got notified. Given this is during business hours, John can work right where he is inside of Slack and acknowledge the incident. As John acknowledges that incident, he can also Leave a note for customer service. I'm on it. Thanks for flagging. I had no idea checkout was broken. Submit that. That note is going to get synced back into Zendesk. And let's say John is struggling to get to resolution. He can also run a response play directly from Slack. What we call a big red button response, which is going to help automate the mundane workflows of creating a Zoom conference bridge and getting the right response team on a bridge so that they can figure out what's going on. Now, as the team is on that bridge, everything is being tracked by PagerDuty behind the scenes. We can see that the right customer liaison is on the call, the right deputy, the incident commander, the internal liaison, and we even have a scribe on that call. Now let's say they work together and get fastest to resolution. John can go ahead and close out that incident. All fixed was due to a bad deploy. Post that as a resolution note to our status dashboard, also keeping customer service and other stakeholders in the loop and resolve that incident. Before PagerDuty for customer service operations, full case ownership use case, I as an agent, would have had no direct line of escalation to development and IT. I would have had to manually escalate this ticket through other means. And it would have been extremely difficult for me to understand who the right engineer and the, who the right development teams are to escalate this problem. With full case ownership, I was able to break through that wall, get the help that I needed so that we can close out this ticket for the customer. So I can see here, refresh my screen. And I can see that that incident is resolved. All fixed. Sorry about that. And submit my ticket as solved.